Welcome back to Parenting Skills for the Real World, and we're going to continue behavior triage. So we covered why we would need a triage system, but next would be what behaviors need triage. So actually, we're going to grab our worksheet. This is something that I don't want to bias you. I don't want to give you a lot of behaviors and a lot of my personal stories, because if I do that, before you have time to write down what is your concern, one of two things might happen. Either I tell you something that I would be addressing for a behavior, and that's really more extreme than what you're concerned with. Or the other way could be, well, it's not, a, yours is way more extreme than the example that I'm using. So you might feel frustrated that I'm not going to address the extreme situation. Both of these can make you feel like this isn't the right course for you. And the whole point of the course that I've designed here is that this can be something that can be utilized for multiple behaviors and multiple types of children and multiple types of parents. So that is why I'm going to have you put your behaviors first without me giving you a bunch of examples to start with. There are instructions on the worksheet and some examples to help you get started. Take your time to complete this worksheet, but take a break if you start to get stressed. It does happen because you're literally sitting there thinking about all the negative things that you are very concerned with about your child or children. So you might need to take a break. And it's probably a good idea to somehow try and eke out some time where you're going to be alone for this process because it might leave you a little bit crabby. So when you're done, head over to the next lecture. But again, take your time, maybe look at pictures of cute puppies or whatever it is that puts you in a good mood, funny memes. But remember, it is normal to feel stressed or frustrated or anxious when you go through this process because you're focusing on a very negative thing. So again, take care of yourself. I will see you at the next lecture. Thanks. Bye.